Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, it's so good to have you here. This is my baby Jules, or Juliet, but we call her Jules. She is six months old, but she was born five weeks early, so developmentally slightly younger. And today we're gonna show you some of our favorite baby carriers. I will show you how I put her in the carrier, but I wanna start this off by saying that I'm not a professional, so if I do it wrong, don't be alarmed. I probably do it wrong, <laughs> but I wear her in them a lot. I also wore my other two kids in these carriers, and so I'm excited to share with you what I have, why I have them, and what I like about them, and we're just we're just gonna have a, a merry old time. This video is a partnership with a brand that we are loving lately, and I'm gonna tell you about them first. I'm so excited to be able to partner with Oats Overnight on this video. As a breastfeeding mom, I don't have a lot of time and oats are good for milk production. So I'm gonna tell you a bit about this company. Oats Overnight are delicious. They're high in protein. This one that I'm drinking today has 20 grams of protein. They're super easy both to make and to take with you. What you're gonna do is add milk or your milk alternative and shake it like you mean it. Then you toss the oats in the fridge. For I had mine in there overnight. You can put them in there for four hours. It'll work the same. And then you take them and go. You can drink it anywhere. You don't need a spoon to enjoy these. And this one that I'm really excited to try but haven't yet is called Mocha Dream. It has coffee, cacao, maca, protein, more, 90 milligrams of caffeine. So this one could actually replace your morning coffee and your breakfast and you can take it on the go. 22 grams of protein. Anyway, awesome solution if you are a breastfeeding mom on the go or actually any sort of mom on the go, you're gonna wanna try this. Oh, it's overnight. So click my link below, use promo code JESSHOVER15 for 15% off your order of oats overnight. You won't regret it, we can drink them together. See you later. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram if you would like more of my family, and if you're a parent looking for more support in your parenting journey, you can join us on Facebook. We have a private group, amazing people, answer the questions that you get asked when you wanna get in so we know that you're a real person and you'll be let in and they're awesome. So okay, the first carrier I'm gonna show you is from a company called Connie Baby. This one I use a lot, lot, lot. I wish that I had it when Wilson was um, littler. Actually, it was recommended to me by viewers. You guys were the ones who said that this was a really good carrier and really easy. And my preemie baby wants to be worn so frequently that I need a really easy go-to option. So first I'll show you that carrier. Also, none of these companies asked me to put them in this video. This is just genuinely me showing you what I use. So this is the Connie Baby Carrier. It comes in different colors. They also have different types of fabric. It's really breathable, this one that I have here, but I know that they also have a summer option for people who live in a warm, warm place. I mean, I live in California. It gets pretty hot and so far, this one's been great. I used this wrong for the first month that I had it and I still liked it. And then when I figured out how to use it right, I liked it even more. I recommend using it right from the get go. It actually fits better and the baby likes it more. So you put it on like this, it's like a t-shirt, a crisscross. You pull the center back and then you pull the sleeves down a little bit. And then I'm gonna tuck the baby in here. She's big enough now that her feet are gonna dangle out the side. For every baby carrier, they're gonna have a newborn way of holding your baby and then like an infant bigger baby way good job rolling and so i'm going to show you the bigger baby so i pick up the babe and for all of these i'm going to show you how she faces me i'm pretty sure there's an option to face the baby outward in most of these carriers that i'm showing you mm, i don't know that for a fact one of them for sure okay ready so i take the fabric closest to me and i tuck her leg in i usually like to do this in front of a mirror because i feel like it's easier then i take the other piece of fabric and i tuck her other leg in and I'm crisscrossing it over her booty. And then I'm just gonna spread the fabric out like this until it's underneath her knees to support her knees so that her booty hangs low. Hi. As simple as that. So if I wanted to wear her in it just like this without any extra anything, I can. I don't usually, I usually use the extra piece that they've included in here. The extra piece looks like this and they give it to you for more support. I recommend it. Your back might get sore or your shoulders when you wear your baby. And this is gonna help relieve some of that pressure 
on your body. If you find that your baby pushes off of you, just tuck her arms into the side. And then for Jules, when I really want her to fall asleep, I tuck her head in like this. You're not really gonna go to sleep. And then we walk and then she falls asleep really fast. But I'm not gonna do that here because that's gonna mess with her a little bit. This product I didn't buy for myself and I don't know how fitting it is for somebody living where I live because we really don't have too many rainy days. But it's a very cool thing. I think if I lived somewhere where there was gonna be weather hitting us on a regular basis, this is something I would definitely consider. And this is their Connie Baby Trench, which they have in multiple colors. I saw a picture of a girl wearing it in, in like a lighter beige color. But so it's a trench coat. You can wear it without your baby in it. And then you zip it. This is only my second time trying this. And I wasn't originally gonna put this in the video, but I thought some of you live where there's cold weather. Maybe you wanna know this exists because it's a pretty smart creation. So it's big enough to go around you and your babe. Tie it. This is fashionable. I'm not the most fashionable person, but it comes with this little hood thing. No, is that it? Yes, that's it. So it snaps in and then you have fashion baby going outside in the rain and her head is not going to get wet and she'll be warm and then she can sleep on you and then you look like this and you have pockets. I think that's pretty cool. So this is their uh, Connie Baby Trench. Now you know. The next carrier I'm gonna show you is my favorite aesthetically. I think it is such a beautiful carrier. And I got to model, like real model, go get my makeup done, put on their clothes. I got to model for this company. So if you go on their website, you can see Jules and Wilson in these carriers. So the company is Sakura Bloom, Sakura Bloom. I hope I'm saying it right. I think it's Sakura Bloom, okay? Their Instagram is love Sakura Bloom. Their stuff is so beautiful. So the carrier I'm gonna put on right now is the Scout. It is really comfortable. It is really beautiful. The only reason why I don't use it as often as I use the other one is that it's not quite as easy to put on. But I will say that when I wear this, I am not sore at all. I carry her so much, so you should know that. Like I wear her, I used to wear her probably half my day was her on my chest. So after wearing her in the Connie baby carrier, I sometimes feel more sore for hours and hours. Um, but in this one, I haven't felt sore. So I'm gonna put her on really quick. I also, from this company, got the On Muhimo one, which is a back carrier. If you go to, their, go to their website, you can see me wearing Wilson in that one. I think it's designed for bigger kids, bigger babies. And so I got it for them. Wilson doesn't like to be worn though. Okay, I almost made a mistake. Watch this. So I almost put it on me like this but that's incorrect. You want everything facing down and then, okay, and then you slide this through. Becca's getting really big muscles right now filming this video. She's holding it up for so long. Okay, and then you slide this. Usually I can just have it done for myself so I just step into it, but I'm doing it like this so you can see. So I just pull it tight on myself and then this, you tighten or loosen according to their leg shape because you want this to fall under their knees, just like the other one. It's all about the M, like the booty being low. Oh, maybe we can put a little diagram or something to show you. She really, really likes this carrier. And whenever we did the modeling job, when they had me in the other carriers, she didn't like it so much. But whenever I put her in this one, she fell asleep. That was really sweet. Okay, so let me set her in here. <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> really a professional. Okay. One arm in. Oh, I know you're so tired. You can ask for help. I've asked strangers in grocery stores for help. Will you take this? And you pull it tight. And then you pull this part to make sure it's tight enough. And then look, she's so comfy. And then it comes with an additional piece. Do you see it? Oh, it's right here. One second. This. It snaps in and then goes over the top so it'll block her from the sun. I'm not gonna use it right now, but it's fantastic. This one I think is the linen kind, but they also have it where you can choose your fabric based on where you live and like what you need climate wise. This one's very breathable, light, lovely. And if you go to their Instagram, they teach you how to clean it. So I'm a little bit afraid of destroying this beautiful thing, spilling my coffee or spaghetti on it. I do eat spaghetti um, while carrying her. But uh, yeah, so far so good. We haven't done that yet. And look, she's cute as a button and you're just gonna feel like a million bucks. No, I really do. I feel so pretty in this one. And then she'll sleep, except for right now. Hi. I know, I'm sorry. The next thing I'm gonna tell you is about this. This is a 
silk beautiful ring sling that my sister-in-law made me and she patterned this one the pattern she used is actually a ring sling that this company makes in fact they're very similar you can tell what what color I like <laughs> I like this color Jules just doesn't love ring slings I wore Wilson in this one and so I'm gonna include right now a clip from another video that I made that you may have already seen a baby 101 video where I put Wilson in it so I slide it over I used this when he was first born, so fresh, fresh newborn. I would wear him out of the house in it, and then he got big fast, but he was still pretty wobbly, and I felt like I couldn't figure out how to have him in here. Oh, remember, I'm really good at this stuff. <laughs> so that's, yeah, nothing has changed. <laughs> so, you know, just, it's okay. You might feel kind of awkward putting him in. Seems fine. Um, okay, and then I spread his little legs out. Remember, I used that cord thing? <laughs> the, oh yeah, pacifier clip. Yep, I don't have it attached to me right now. But okay, so now he's in. The ring sling's really pretty. A lot of moms do this way better than me. I watch some moms at playgrounds do it, and they're just like, foo, foo. And so I, I try and be like that, but then yesterday I almost dropped him. I've never dropped him, but I felt like I almost did. Voila, don't we look like vegans? But for Jules, because I wear her so much, so much more than I wore my other kids, I prefer a more structured carrier that has the weight more evenly distributed. These are lovely. People love ring slings, so you can definitely try them and enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna do the last carrier now that I like. This one is an Ergo 360. Mine is old. This is like five years old because I got it with Eloise. I think they have newer, probably even more like sleek looking ones. What we like about this carrier, it's very structured. It's easy. You can carry a big kid in it. You can face the baby frontward. You can put them on your back. I think that's the 360 thing. It comes with an infant insert so that you can wear a little tiny baby becca who's holding the camera she prefers this one you yeah. like this more yeah it looks cool yeah she likes the the backpack type look um some other people like the. it's not pretty how yeah it? yeah yeah and I, I don't like the like pretty stuff yeah she doesn't really want it to be pretty yeah, she i want wants it to, be, it to cool. be cool and the ergo is cool so i'm gonna put her in this what i want to tell you real quick is that wearing your baby is a great way to get stuff done around the house to tend to like a clingy, kind of needy, fussy baby. A good way to go for a walk or like for me, when I took her to the grocery store recently, I put her in the carrier and pushed the um, the grocery cart and she just fell asleep in the carrier. So that's when I use it. Um, in Spain, I used it a lot to get around. We didn't have a car. Um, I also use a stroller and I'm gonna make another video soon, like in the next week about the stroller I use and kind of some pro tips for stroller pushing because there are some actually. Um, when I first pushed a stroller, I cried <laughs> because I didn't know how to get into a coffee shop and I was very anxious and freshly postpartum. But anyway, I'd love to share these things with you and hopefully save you from what I have gone through. So now I'm gonna put her in this last carrier and then we're gonna be all done with this video and you're just amazing. You're gonna do such a good job wearing your baby. This one I feel is pretty self-explanatory. The belt is clearly the side, like it make they make it really obvious which side goes against your body. Also, this carrier is so dirty because we've used it a lot, a lot, a lot. Sean likes this carrier too. There's a sock attached to my carrier. <laughs> All right, so you Velcro it and then you strap it. Very secure. My sister-in-law said that she used this to go on a really long hike with her something year old three-year-old? I don't know. I believe it though. It's, it's very structured. Very, um, the weight is distributed very evenly. That's good. It's like wearing a big suitcase. <laughs> okay. So here I'm going to put her facing me, but you can also face her outward. Notice that, um, my baby is very resilient because I don't put her in these super, um, delicately, but when it's your first time around, you'll feel like you need to. And feel free to grab help from a loved one or a stranger when you do this. Okay. I'm putting her in. One thing to tell you is just keep her arms kind of out here because they might push back on you depending on how old they are and how tired they are. This part here is really gross, <laughs> but when they face outward, they tend to like chew on it or, or teeth on it, which is nice. And you can adjust it. Hi. You can adjust this so it'll hold their head up and be really supportive. Oh, then, oh it's really loose because Sean just wore it. This is a stereotype for sure, but I feel like dads like this carrier. Though I got the Scout carrier from Sakura Bloom for my sister and her husband, and my brother-in-law really liked the look of that brown with the leather. Yeah, he must like those types of things. Voila. Okay, you button these down, and then you pull this up. So then, when you go for a walk, or to the farmer's market, or I don't know where you people go, but whenever you go there, if it's bright, 
or you want to just keep your child settled, you can cover it. You can adjust, oh true, yeah, you can adjust down here somewhere mm -hmm. for bigger kids. It's like right here. I think it's like also for maybe front facing and- I think you're right, yeah. yeah. Um, they, they make it so that it's very healthy on the baby's body. You can also nurse your babies in your carrier. It depends on what you're wearing. So I wouldn't wear this if I was trying to nurse while I'm out. But if you wear something where your milk makers are accessible, then you just cover your baby up if you want or go free, depending on what your style is. And then your little babe can have lunch while you are doing the Macarena, <laughs> you know? So that I think is all. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. If you have questions about baby carriers, feel free to leave them below. If you have a favorite, you can let me know. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the ones that are the long fabrics where you have to wrap your body around a thousand times. I think I'm a little too dumb for them, to be honest. I have no idea how to do it properly and I'm so impatient that I don't want to give too much time to that. But dumb. some people love them. You're not dumb. Thank you. I feel Smart. like I feel like you just you just don't like care to learn. I them. don't care, and I don't like to have to watch a long video. So I'm sorry exactly. for you guys watching a long video, but I don't want to have to watch something super long to figure out how to do it right. I would rather watch something short and encouraging. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for taking time out of your life to be here with me and my babies and listen to me. I think you're wonderful, and I believe in you. And on. Honestly, honestly, if I can be a mom, anybody can do it. And if you feel crazy and you feel like it's hard and it's overwhelming, you're completely normal. We can do this. Let's do this. Um, just appreciate you. And thank you to everybody who's been shopping Very Good Mothers Club, our small business. It's helping to fund our lives and um, enables us to make these videos for you, which we appreciate so much. So, okay, we love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Happy baby wearing. Hi. Say night-night, guys. I'm going for my nap. Night-night.